Hello everyone and welcome to the final recap review update. That's right, this is it. This is the last update that I'll do for the recap reviews. Unfortunately, I just don't have enough time to do a q and A. I I understand a lot of people did enjoy those and enjoyed getting their questions answered. And I actually did have one for the 2008 reviews. Unfortunately, I did have to scrap it. I just don't have enough time. I do sincerely apologize. But I can assure you there are good things in the pipeline, and let's go ahead and discuss those. First of all, regarding the 2010 reviews, let's get a couple things out of the way. Starting off, they will be separate. I will be reviewing all the stars individually. Now, I'm sure some of you are a bit confused. I didn't do that with the Anika. I didn't do that with the Hordika. I didn't do that with the Paraka. And that is all very true. Uh, the stars are technically clone sets. Technically. The issue being, so are the Tomata. Now, I reviewed the Tomata, which are considered some of the first Bionicle sets, individually. Because they are the first. They are the ones that everyone thinks of first, and they think of Bionicle, if you were a fan that early on. They're iconic, so yeah, I, in I reviewed them individually. Uh, additionally, they do have minute differences. Same thing with the stars. You see, while the Tomata were the first Bionicle sets, the stars were the last. And I feel like offering that respect to them in that instance. So yes, the stars will be reviewed separately. Additionally, there will be a, a seventh video, the 2010 overview, which will look, all, look over all of them, good job me, and look over the golden armor as well. With that out of the way, the intro to the recap reviews for 2010. There is an intentional spelling error. Please, do understand. That's intentional. Because I kind of did a little bit of a throwback with the intro this time. And it's a, a throw throwback. So it's not only a throwback to my original intro, but also to the fact that we've been doing this for such a long time that we grew up with Bionicle in addition to doing these recap reviews. You know, time has passed. We were all a lot younger back then. And so, more prone to making spelling errors. And I just wanted to kind of convey that young feel. So, that explains that. Please don't point it out in every video. I beg of you. Now, the release date for the 2010 reviews will be November 29th. Season 10, the final seven actual reviews, will start on November 29th. And they will air up until December 5th. Yeah, that's right, one a day. Okay? So that's out of the way. Additionally, let's move on to the recap finale. There's something I've been promising you guys for quite a while now. At the end of the recaps, I was going to show all of the Bionicle sets, or the canon Bionicle sets for Generation 1, in one place. And I'm going to keep that promise. So that's right. The end of the recaps, the absolute finale, will come out on December 13th. Now, after that, one week after that, as an official send-off, not the final recap, but a send-off to the recaps, because they will have ended, there will be a live stream one week after on December 20th. And that's going to be a lot of fun. So think of that as kind of a replacement for the Q&A. So let's recap, no pun intended. The 2010 recap reviews, the final seven actual set reviews, will be on November 29th, and it will air all the way up until December 5th. Additionally, the recap finale, the Generation 1 overview, will be on December 13th. And finally, one week after that, we will have a commemorative live stream on December 20th. A lot of things are in store for you guys, so please look forward to it. It is going to be a little bit sad since it's a long-running series of ours that will be ending, but I think, I think it'll be okay. I think you guys will be happy because Bionicle got an end and so should the recaps. So, that's everything. Thank you very much for listening. We'll see you in the next coming weeks. Adios.